everybody, Dave Brown and Corey Macklin here at ringside, ready to go. I hope everybody had a great holiday. We're ready to go with another day of USWA Championship Wrestling. Corey. Uh, hello, Dave. How are you today? Doing good. Good. We've got a big show today. Let me tell you, opening bout, Jeff Jarrett's going to be in here. We'll see him in the ring in our opener today. Bill Dundee and Danny Davis, they're on the card today. That huge Christmas creature, we'll see him again. Mm, and around. to the exploration of time, boy, we've got a well of a tag team bout, don't we? We sure do. Uh, you got the Harris twins coming in yeah. here, the Brews brothers, Ron and Don Harris, and look at who they're going to be going against. Yeah, the king, Jerry Lawler and Jeff Jarrett. Oh. Look forward to that one. Stay with us today. We got a lot coming up, don't we? Hey, if we want to have enough time to get that one going, we better get going right now. We'll take a break. We'll be back with USWA action in just a moment. What before we get going in the ring here today, I want to show you some highlights of last week's action in which Brian Christopher was going against Jeff Jarrett. And uh, Brian, uh, not too wild about putting up that title, Jeff Jarrett, the Southern title, something he really wanted to, uh, to gain and to hold. Take a look and watch for a brand new Southern heavyweight champion right here. Christopher comes from behind Jared and uh, clobbers him in there. Throws him hard to the ring rail in that ringside. Slams Jeff right into the rail. Picks him up and, uh, oh, reversal in. Jeff gets Christopher. Slams him hard into the railings over here. Picks him up and throws and ringside, and Christopher out on the floor. Jarrett runs him over to the other side and gives Christopher the same thing. Brian Christopher whips Jarrett in. Look at Jeff go under again. Come back. Good looking sunset flip. Two. And Christopher up. Christopher up on the middle rope in there. Comes down. Look at Jarrett. Hold on to him. Sweet shots him off the top over there, trying to get on his feet, gets up, Christopher gets up and swings, oh, they trade punches in there, Christopher, Jared sends him down, oh, what a great bout it's been, Jeff Jared and Brian Christopher, we're at the 10 minute mark in a now too. Ten minutes past. DDT from Jarrett. Covers Christopher too. And Christopher gets his foot on the bottom rope. That was Brian Christopher. Comes off the rope. Oh, Mike Samples. Hold it on to Jeff leg. Jeff got Samples by his necktie in there. Watch it, Jeff. Here comes Christopher from behind. is over distracting referee Frank Morrell over holding him over there. Christopher telling Zeke Rivers, hey, let go and stay the hell over there. Christopher covers Jared, two. Whoa, and Jeff up in two in there. Mike Samples trying to hold on to Jeff. Jeff comes off, oh, he tries to catch Christopher with the flow of line. Morrell and Vern Prentice just reached over and threw a chain at Christopher over there. Christopher grabs that chain that Prentice gave him. Oh, Frank Morrell sees that chain. Meanwhile, look at Jarrett. He goes in and gets a chain of his own. While Frank Morrell trying to take that chain Christopher had. Whoa! Frank sees the chain that Jeff's got in there. Whoa! Christopher's on his feet, asking Zeke Rivers for the chain over there. Rivers. Rivers said, hey, he doesn't have the chain. 
Well, of course, we didn't have a chain. Oh, he finally gets the chain out. And Jared pulls the chain out of his arm. Now it's Christopher. He got it. Yes, sir. We've got a new something. In the ring right now, you got Madman Mondo. And here comes Jeff Jarrett. Good-looking robe again, Jeff's got on there. Well, that is a great-looking robe with those mirrors on it and uh, all that sort of thing. Great-looking robe. He climbs into the ring and, oh, did we mention he's got the Southern Heavyweight title around his waist right there as he climbs into the ring? The Southern Champion right here in a non-title match today against Madman Mondo. Every Kevin Christian in the ring right now and uh, with all the instructions, Jeff hands that great-looking robe outside. I wonder if that was a holiday gift. I don't think so. I haven't seen him wear it before, but it is a good looking one, no doubt about it. Uh, and indeed. the Southern Heavyweight title. There, the crowd. Yeah, they appreciate it too as he hands that out for safekeeping. And we are set to go. First live action here today on USWA Championship Wrestling. And here's Corey Macklin. Thank you, Dave Brown. We are underway. Jeff Jarrett, good takedown on Mad Man Pondo. Our first look at Pondo in there. Isn't it? Jeff Jarrett with a good takedown on him. Took him down quickly, too. How'd you like to get up in the morning and uh, have someone say, hey, you're wrestling in the USWA today. And he says, great, who am I wrestling? And he says, the champion. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, morning begins to be almost a nightmare when you step in there with the likes of Jeff Jarrett. Boy, this guy can wrestle. He can go, let me tell you. Good forearm from Jeff and uh, take Fondo down there, there quickly. Sets Madman Pondo up, sets him up, and uh, suplexes him over quickly, takes him down. Jeff Jarrett, the new Southern Heavyweight Champion. Boy, it's good to see him with it, too. Sets Pondo into the tournament. Jarrett whips him into the Pondo comes off, gets a boot to the midsection, and from Jeff Jarrett. Boy, what a good move in there. Jeff covers him. One, two, he gets it. One, two, did not take him long. Jeff Jarrett, there he is. Wait, 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 wait. Look at here. Brian Christopher's out. Christopher out with the Texas title in hand. He's the former Southern champion. He's yelling and screaming something to Jeff. I don't know what he's talking about, but he's got Burt Prentice and uh, Mike. Jeff Jarrett, come here. Come here, I got a deal for you, Jeff. This is the former champion here, Brian Christopher. Jeff, I got a deal for you. Come right over here. Come here, nobody's gonna hurt you. Come here, Jeff, come here. Hey, I know, I know that you said that you would not give me a return title match unless I put my hair on the line, but I got a deal. I got a deal, hey. I don't wanna hear nothing unless you're putting your hair up. Listen, Jeff, I got something better than that. I have something better than that. Listen, come here, I got something better, I swear. I swear, it is better than my hair. Jeff Jarrett, right now I'm going to make you the deal of a lifetime. Right now, Jeff Jarrett, I'm going to give you a chance to shave, not my head, but Burt Prentice's head. Burt Prentice's head. Yeah, yeah. The man you hate. The man you hate more than life. Burt Prentice, you've got a chance to get even with him. You can shave his head if you beat me. Just put the belt on the line against Burt Prentice's hair. Yeah! So, Brian, the match is going to be me against you, and if I beat you, Burt Prentice is going to get in the ring and shave his head bald. Yes! Yeah. Yes! 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 How can you pass that up? You hate Burt Prentice. You hate Burt Prentice. It's a chance for you to get even with Burt Prentice. Shave his head bald if you can beat me. If you can beat me. The belt against his hair. I tell you what, Brian. That deal is just too good to pass up. I'll take it. All right. All right. Oh, yeah. So the match is signed, Bert. I hate to disappoint you, but I'm not putting my hair up, Brian. No, no, no way. What do you mean, you idiot? You're my manager, I'm the boss, you do as I say. 
You will put your hair on the line this week. You understand me? Do you understand me? If you won the match, you'd be the champion. I wouldn't. I'm not putting my hair up. No, I'm not doing it. What are you talking about? I said you put your hair on the line. You put your hair on the line. Your hair's on the line. I said it. It stands. It's my hair. The answer's no. No, I'm not going well, to do it. Well, then you're fired. You're fired then. How's that? Yeah, you're fired. So just go on. Hey. No, hold on. Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. Jeff, come back. Please come back. Please come back. Jeff, I got something better. Your hair. Jeff, I got something better. Come here, let's negotiate. Come here. Just come here. Come here. Come here. Hey, Jeff, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Okay? Forget about Burt Prentice. This week, you put that title on the line, I will put Mike Samples' hair on the line. Yes, Mike Samples. He beat up your grandfather. Remember that? He beat up your grandfather. You can get some revenge. You can get some revenge. You can shave his head bald if you can beat me. You just put the title on the line, Mike Sample's hair on the line. Okay. Boy, well, you're awful confident this morning. Let's get Eddie Marlin out here and sign this man. Come on, Eddie Marlin. Because I'll take it. I'd love to get the chance to say, shave Mike Sample's head. Oh, thank you, I'll Jeff. take it. Me against you. If I beat you, Mike Sample's head shaved. Yes. Yeah. Get Eddie Martin. Eddie Martin. Let's sign this. Let's sign this. What? I believe in you. You're a great wrestler, and you can take care of him, and maybe that's right. Two, three minutes. Get Eddie Martin out here. Right. He'd love to sign this. I'm not putting my hair on the line either. I believe in you. I know you can do it. Just shut up, okay? Mike, I know you're a very intelligent man. And I'll tell you what, you will put your hair on the line because I said you will, okay? I am the boss around here. I run this operation. If I say your hair's on the line, Mike, your hair is on the line, okay? Brian, your immaturity's showing just a little. Hey. You want your blood to show? You want me to split your lip open, huh? Listen. Let's you will get do Eddie out here and sign this match. Well, I, hey, you're fired. How's that, huh? Huh? You're fired. You don't have to fire me, Brian, because uh, I quit. No, no, you don't quit. You don't quit, Big Mouth. You're fired. You are fired. Hold on, Jeff. Hold on, Jeff. Your options are running low, Brian. Jeff, come here. Hey, just get him back over here one more time, Jeff. Jeff, please come here. Come here. Come here, Jeff. Come on, Jeff. Come back over here. Your hair. You don't have to put my hair on the line. Listen, Jeff. Jeff, hey, hey, Your hey, hair. hey. Forget about Burt Prentice. Forget about Mike Samples. Their hair meant nothing. Now, Jeff Jarrett, I'll tell you what. You put that Southern heavyweight title on the line. I will put my personal ballet, Zeke Rivers, I will put his hair on the line. Yes. Brian? Yes, he will. Yes, you will. Brian? Yes, he will. He will. He will. If Burt Prentice's hair and Mike Sample's hair mean nothing, Zeke Rivers means less than nothing. I could care less if he's breathing, much less if he's bald-headed. What are you talking about, Jeff? You can shave his head. Who cares? Who cares? Everybody cares. You better care. I care. Hey, I care. I swear. I don't want his hair to be gone. Oh, I love his hair. I don't want his hair. <laughs> I tell you what. I, I tell you, I, I'm not. Oh, no, hey. He, please, Jeff. Come on. He'll put his hair on the line. Come on, Jeff. If you can beat me, you can shave his head bald all the way down to the scalp. You're so big and bad. Look at the expression on his face. I don't even know if he wants to do it. Who cares? He'll do it. Hair? He will do it. Believe me. Well, ask him. <laughs> Zeke, you'll do it, right? No, Brian. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> if I say people's hair's on the line, that's the hair's on the line. You understand me? You put your hair on the line. I tell you, say. Hey, Brian. You put your hair on the line. You understand me? His hair's on the line. Hey, obviously, Brian. Hey, obviously, Brian. He doesn't think. Obviously, he doesn't think that you can beat me. 
<laughs> oh, don't make me laugh. Zeke, your hair's on the line because you know I can beat him, right? Right? What the hell, What? Don't you know? I run the show. I'm the boss around here. You do as I say. If I say you put your hair on the line, you put your hair on the line. You understand me? You understand? Oh, yes, he will. His hair's on the line. You sign the match. Your hair's on the stinking line, pup. He won't even do it. And unless I can get your hair at stake, I ain't signing no matches. This guy don't even want to do it. We ain't having it. Hey, Mr. Mr. Clyde, I mean. Hey, man. Last week was a big fluke. You can beat this big sissy, no problem. I'll put my hair on the line. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I don't need Zeke. Forget about Zeke. I got Clyde. I got Mr. Clyde. Mr. Clyde will put his hair on the line, Jeff. Hey. Wait on it. I'll put my hair on the line. That's sissy. Yeah. I'll put mine on the line. That's right. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I go, no. Yes. Yes. Hey, I'll put the hair I'm the man around here. I'll put my hair up, Brian. Oh, yeah. Yes. I know. All right. Yes. Jeff, right. how about it? He agreed. You heard him. You heard it right out of his mouth. Jeff, I tell you what. Uh, that, <laughs> we're getting behind on breaks. Let, let's take a break right here. We're not getting this settled too quickly. We'll take a break, and we'll be back after this. Well, I wish I could tell you this is settled, but it is not. It's still going on. Brian Christopher is uh, still offering the hair of Zeke Rivers. Jeff has said, uh, Come on, Jeff Jarrett. Are you scared? Are you chicken? Are you chicken? Huh? You chicken? I've done a green toot, and my personal valet is a green toot. He'll put his hair on the line. If you say no, the whole world will know you're chicken of me. You're scared, scared of me. Brian, first of all, I know it, you know it, and the people know I ain't scared of you. But what I cannot believe is there would be four, and I don't know if I want to call them idiots, or I don't know really what I want to call them, because if they want 15 minutes of fame to get their head shaved, boys, y'all got a lot to learn if you're going to be in this sport. I'll tell you what, you better but, call but them Brian gentlemen. Christopher, most of all, you've got a lot to learn. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to agree to this match. Yeah. And, and Monday night, listen up, Brian. Listen up, Monday. Listen yeah. up. Monday night, you bring whoever you want to ringside, whoever you want to call your valet, and their hair's going to be on the line. Because when I beat, when I beat you, the, the three and who are all the other idiots that I guess you got following you, they won't think, they'll, they'll think twice when they want to put their hair now, Brian, Spin it out, Jeff Garrett. Yeah. What you need to say is there will be a new Southern yeah. Heavyweight Champion well, this week. You just wait. Yes. You it's just signed. wait, Brian. It is signed. You know Everybody you is hurting. Yeah, you're real tough with your pack of dogs out here. But when it's down to one, one little stray dog like you are, then we'll see how tough you are. And then, Brian Christopher, I'm going to get your hair. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'll be the day, baby. A new champion. You've seen it. I have worked miracles. I'm the miracle man. I <laughs> All right, Jeff has agreed to the match. We'll get a check. Right, uh, right, yeah, you're you're real happy. You're going down, Jeff Jarrett. No head will be shaved, boy. You're going down. The match will occur. In the ring right now, referee Kevin Christian has climbed in there, and Mr. Clyde and Mr. Paradise head for the ring. Their opponents are here, too. Hey, they kind of slipped in the side on me there. There's Bill Dundee in the ring. And Danny Davis, these two guys, boy, they really work well together as a tag team. Two tough veteran single wrestlers on their own. Also, two veterans of the great tag teams. Bill Dundee, the Australians, of course, comes to mind. And uh, Danny Davis, the former Nightmare. I tell you, this is a good group we got here going against Mr. Paradise and Mr. Clyde. Mr. Paradise starting. 
We're underway, and uh, Paradise taken down by Madman Danny Davis. Danny Barnett left arm in there, and Bill Dundee and Danny Davis. One good team, as you said, Dave, that we've got here today. Just one of the few good teams is in the USWA. Championship wrestling continues, and uh, boy, we've got a lot still in the store for you. Remember, we've still got an exhibition of time, which should be a well of a tag team bout. Speaking of tag teams, Ron and Don Harris, the Bruce Brothers, versus Jerry the King Lawler and Jeff Jarrett. That's still to come today, including much more. Stay right there where you are. Dundee comes in. Takes out Mr. Paradise. Superstar holding on to that left arm. Oh, Mr. Paradise. Paradise gets over there and gets on the break. Out of that bottom rope there, and uh, Dundee just kind of gives him the boot. <laughs> Paradise thought he was on free. He forgot who he was facing in there, apparently. <laughs> Paradise rolls out of the ring. Mr. Clyde steps in. Clyde coming out of Saudi Arabia. He's a big guy. Well, look at little Dundee, boy. Just takes him down. And then when you look at the size, you wonder how in the world does he do it? Dundee and Davis. That's Clyde. Big double backdrop from Mr. Clyde. Takes him down. Dundee just gives a boot right across the face of Clyde. A little minor insult as he's leaving there. Just to remind him that he's still around. <laughs> Danny Davis working on that left arm. Tag the superstar. Dundee and Davis, what's hot and Double elbow takes him down and... Oh, oh. oh Dundee goes over and nails Mr. Paradise. Sends Paradise on the cut street floor. There he is. And there's Mr. Clyde. He's in an awkward position now, too. Dundee. Oh, look out, Masters of Terror hit the ring. Yeah, led by Bert Prentice in here. Here they go, interfering in the bout. But Dundee and Davis holding their own in that. Mr. Clyde helping Mr. Paradise out of there. The bell is sounded, and, and they're going to lose on the technicality, on the disqualification. Is it the Masters of Terror? One of them throws Dundee over the top rope, and he's spraying a towel with something. Now, what in the world is that stuff? Spread it all over the towel over there while Danny Davis is on top of the other master tire. And he smothers that towel on Danny over there with a can of something in that. I can't tell what it is, Dave. But the master tire, he's got it all over that towel, smothering Danny Davis with it. Well, I tell you what it is. I, I can tell you from the smell of it. Anybody that's ever smelled it knows it's ether. That's what it is. They have to, they, that you sprayed that towel with the ether and then smothered Danny Davis with it. Danny is, oh, boy, man, yeah, all of a sudden when it hits. That, uh, oh, man, that stuff is tough, let me tell you. Ether is what uh, is what the master of terror had sprayed on that towel, and he put it over Danny Davis's face. Boy, many years ago, kids, the baby boomers that had their tonsils taken out, I'll tell you in an instant what uh, what ether is, because that's what they used to use uh, in in the uh, surgery there. And uh, Danny seemed well, I don't know, well, he seems to be all right, but he's not in great shape right now. Man, Bill Dundee that stuff has got to make trying to help him out. I tell you what, he's uh, he's not climbing up on his feet there too quickly. Uh, Bill Dundee attending to him. The referee has left. I tell you what, we better do. We better uh, we better take a, take a break and let's yeah. get some help out here for Danny Davis. We'll be back with more in just a moment. the toughest season continues here but uh, in between times and also after the holidays there's lots of USWA wrestling action coming up and Corey is going to catch us up on that right now yeah indeed coming up uh, Jonesboro Arkansas is tomorrow night in Jonesboro eight o'clock at the Earl Bella Community Center there on Church Street big night of action tomorrow night eight o'clock in Jonesboro at the Earl Bell Community Center now. Box office opens at 3 p.m. there in Jonesboro. You can call 932-8885 for more information. Now, they're going to have that uh, special as well there in Jonesboro. Children 12 and under will admit it free to general admission with a paying adult. And not only that, some lucky fan will get a chance to win $50 in cash. No purchase necessary. It's a big night in Jonesboro. It's tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, Jeff Jarrett's on the card. 
Jerry Lawler, the Moondogs, Ron and Don Harris, a big night in Jonesboro, Arkansas, 8 o'clock tomorrow night. The Old Belly Community Center. Hope you're there to see that. Then, Tuesday night, Crenshaw, Mississippi. Crenshaw at the Crenshaw Gym there. Sponsored by the police department. Tickets on sale at City Hall. And girl is one stop and uh, FNS Grocery. Also, some fan will win $50 in cash. No purchase necessary in Crenshaw at the Crenshaw Gym. That's coming up Tuesday night, 7.30 bell time in Crenshaw. Uh, we got a note on that that it's going to be 8 o'clock. Right. Okay. 8 o'clock Tuesday night in right. Crenshaw. Uh, Jerry Law is on the card. Jeff Jarrett, ladies match. Moondogs all in Crenshaw, Mississippi. And uh, that is 8 o'clock, 8 o'clock Tuesday night in Crenshaw. Then, well, speaking of the New Year, big New Year's Eve spectacular at 7.30. It's going to be New Year's Eve, December 31st, at the fairgrounds in Paragool, Arkansas. Big New Year's Eve slamboree. You see the big names there. Jeff Jarrett, Brian Christopher, the American Eagles are there. Bill Dandy and Danny Davis, and a free party favors for a lot of the fans there in uh, Paragool at the fairgrounds. That's there at the B.C. Lord Building. The Nord will also be there. The Nord's going to be there in Paragool. And the Vans tickets are at Domino's Pizza in Paragool, Arkansas. Big night, New Year's Eve. That 1993 is upon us. January 7th, it's going to be championship wrestling in Dysburg, uh, Tennessee. Thursday night, January 7th, 7.30, there at the uh, fairgrounds there in Dysburg. All of the USWA top stars are going to be right there for all of the action in Dysburg. Then Friday night, January 8th, Houston, Mississippi, there at the Houston Elementary School. All of the USWA top stars there in Houston. That's USWA championship wrestling on tour tomorrow night. Jonesboro, Arkansas at 8 o'clock at the Old Bell Community Center. Tuesday night, 8 o'clock, Crenshaw, Mississippi. That's championship wrestling on tour day. Big action coming up, and guys coming right here, the Southern Heavyweight Champion, Jeff Jarrett. Jeff, congratulations on the belt and a successful week, and Jerry Lawler joining him, too. It's going to be a big haircut Monday night, but what we're out here to talk about is uh -oh. the big week coming ahead. Look at this. Uh-oh. Dave, you know who that is over Special there? Special guest. That's the Noid. He, yeah. It, that is Denoy from Domino's Pizza. He's going to be up in Paragool Thursday night at the Fairgrounds uh, uh, Arena. Um, free party favors. It's going to be a night of family entertainment on New Year's Eve. Uh, there's a lot of places that don't offer that on New Year's Eve, but it's going to be free, enter free party favors, uh, family entertainment, big night up in Paragool. Miss Texas is going to be there. A lot of great matches. All I don't right. Know what happened? But something gave this guy the big head, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the noise is going to be in Paragol. I'm going to be over in Jonesboro. We're going to be in Jonesboro, Arkansas, at the Earl Bell Community Center tomorrow night. It's going to be a big night. And then Monday night, I can hardly wait. That is going to be great because, like you said, <laughs> what will happen to Brian Christopher is when these idiots start getting their heads. I, th I only think it'll take one of them to get their head shaved, and then they'll desert him like rats leaving a sinking ship. Then that'll just leave Brian, and he'll have to put his hair up. Yeah. We'd love to see him bald in it. I can guarantee you. And let's also, have, go ahead. I'm just want to say also going to be down in Crenshaw, Mississippi, on Tuesday night. We're looking forward to seeing all those fans down there. Noid, you, what do you think? Think this guy could wrestle? I know one thing. You couldn't get him in a headlock, could you? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Jonesboro tomorrow night. Uh, Crenshaw Tuesday night. And Paragol, th Paragol Thursday night. Right. Big night of action. All this week. All right, very good. And the Noid's going to be over at that New Year's Eve celebration in Paragould, Arkansas. And uh, I guess that surely they'll keep him under control so the pizza won't get cold. Huh? <laughs> We're going to be back right after this. Stay with us. by Bert Prentice and Leslie Bellinger, who are, are out here for uh, uh, some comments. Shut up. First of all, I'm sick and tired of everybody challenging what I know as a fact. Miss Texas was born a man. Her name's Bubba Johnson. Eddie Marlin even issued a memo this week, sent it all over the world, trying to cover up this story. Eddie Marlin, you're having an affair with what used oh. to be a man, and you know it. Will you stop? Now, That's ridiculous. Now, that is absolutely ridiculous. Look at Miss Texas. She walks like a man. She talks like a man. I don't think the operation took is what I think. I think things are slipping, if you know what I mean. Miss Texas or Bubba Johnson, wherever you are, I understand that you and Eddie Marlin want a match with me and Leslie Bellinger. That's exactly right. And they're going to call it a mixed tag match. Are they crazy? That's two men against me ah, and this so lady. You stop all of this. This is just ridiculous. Yeah. They do want the match. It's There's ridiculous. No it's ridiculous. Yeah. I have a friend upstairs in the control booth. I'm going to show you today undeniable proof 
Mrs. Marlin, if you're looking, watch Eddie Marlin's oh, hands. Brandon. Watch Eddie Marlin's smile. Roll that tape. I'm going to show you Miss Texas in the arms of Eddie Marlin. Look it. She's uh, just won a match here. Look at him grab her. Look at him reach for her. They've done this before. It's quite obvious this isn't the first time she leaped. Where's his hands? Where's his hands? Mrs. Marlin, are you looking? That's disgraceful. He's a promoter. He's never held me like that. He's never held Jerry Lawler. Look at this. One, two. Look at 30 seconds. Look how long What do you mean 30 her. seconds? You run it in extremely slow motion, and that's a freeze frame right he's there, for heaven's sake. that woman that used to be a man. Eddie Marlin, I'm going to ruin you before it's over. I'm going to ruin him dead and stinking because he's not going to get away with it. People around here calling me Bertha, saying I'm a she hit and all this, when Miss Texas is Bubba Johnson, and I had proof Eddie Marlin's having an affair. I'm sick and tired of the whole mess. Your proof is just absolutely ridiculous. That's what it is. You and Leslie Bellinger definitely need to show up because that mixed match is yeah. definitely going to occur. Uh, coming through the curtains right now, I got the Christmas creature. This guy is big and strange, wrestling under the mask and the tinsel. Bert Prentice greets him and uh, escorts him to the ring. Prentice in his corner, too. Ricky Hayes waiting uh, across the way for his opponent here today. Referee Kevin Christian is right there, and we are just about set to go. And yet another match. One fall, 15 minutes the time limit on this one. Ricky Hayes out of Dyersburg, Tennessee, is going to be going against this strange Christmas creature where he jumps him immediately. Yeah, indeed, the Christmas creature steps over those ropes in there and uh, goes after Ricky Hayes. Christmas creature swings after Ricky. Ah, Hayes went for a fine. That's in there, something other, I guess. Boy, I don't see how he's really going to get the Christmas creature down in there. He just really flew up into the arms of the Christmas creature. He went to try to do a takedown on him. Boy, that Christmas creature just goes in after him. Hey, well, you won't now, Prentice. That Christmas creature is a little vicious, isn't he? Hello, Ricky. Boy, the Christmas creature is indeed very large, very tall. Rangy guy. Well over six feet. And I mean well over. Yeah. Well, it should be about six eight. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, oh, look at that. Tall. Oh, hey, he got just got yeah, just gets Ricky Hayes, picked him up by his throat, and there's what he done. Dave and just slammed him down on the mat in there. And uh, you're talking about Richard. you're talking about a young wrestler in Ricky Hayes, but you're talking about somebody that uh, that's got a lot of fight in him. And the Christmas creature has just pinned him and now thrown him out of the ring. Is Bill Dundee out to uh, help him up, and Billy seems to be headed this way. Maybe we got an update on uh, Danny's condition. Yeah, I want to see about Danny too. Christmas creature still celebrating with Bert Prentice. Bill, uh, no, you're sick, Prentice. That's what's wrong with you, punk. You're sick. How's how's Danny? Well, he's not feeling too good. He's been a little sick back there, but he's come around a little bit. Now, this is what I got to say to you, Burt Prentice. I'm sure you mastermind that whole thing. And the one thing I hate is leeches in the wrestling business, and that's what you are. Because you ain't physical enough to do nothing by yourself. So you go tell people how great they are, or you get them to come out and do stuff, because you'd like to do it. You would like to do it. You can't even beat Miss Texas, punk. Now, let me tell you something, boys. Danny's going to be all right come match time, and we're going to beat your brains out. And Prentice, if you get close... Here's Danny. Here's... Man, you all right, man? Okay. Yeah. Danny? Hey, look, I'm... Come on, go back and sit down, man. No, I'm not going nowhere. I want to get Eddie Marlin out here right now. Yeah. Eddie Marlin, I know you're back there. Please come out here right now. Please. No, I'm not going nowhere. I'm staying right here. This has gone too far, Dave. These guys, I don't know what... Hey, let me... I agree with that. Eddie, come here. Eddie, I'm sure you saw what happened on the monitor hey, back there. listen. This has gone too far with Dundee and myself and these Masters of Terrors. I don't know what they tried to do out there, but if you, if you can just smell. I did. All right, no, that right there smells like ether or something. Now, let me tell you something. Doctors, I'm talking about men who have spent years learning their profession, have accidentally overdosed people with damn ether. Now, let me tell you something. I'm sick and tired. This has gone too far. Those men, I don't know if they deliberately tried to do that. I don't know what they tried to do to me, but this is enough, okay? If I say something out of line, I'm apologizing right now because this is me. 
This is, and, and I don't like nobody sneaking up out here on me, sticking something in my face that don't belong there. This is wrestling. This is not something you try to do to end somebody's career or cripple them for life. Do you understand? I've got a family. I've got a wife, and I've got five kids that I like to take care of, and I damn sure don't like somebody like you sneaking up behind. No, I'm not going to shut up. I'll say what I want to say. Now, listen. When I was in the Orient, Eddie Marlin, I saw a match. It's the only time and only place I have ever seen a match. I don't know what it's called because I can't speak a foreign language. All I know is it's some sort of death match. And, I, and this is what I want to ask you. The way the match goes is it's a tag match, and I want Bill Dundee to be my partner because he's the only man that I can trust. I want Bill Dundee to be my partner against the Masters of Terrors. It starts out as a tag match. The best I can remember, I, I don't know what it's called, Eddie, but w when a man is pinned, when one man is pinned, the fresh man, the man that's on the outside of the losing team, has to be put in a cage. Then it becomes a handicap match. Two men are against one. And the only way the match can end is if the two guys beat the one guy, which we will do, and that guy cannot answer the 10 count. I don't know what you call it. All I know is it's some kind of, this is the last, I never, I never, ever, I never, ever want to wrestle these guys again because, except for this last time, this one time. This week, I, won't, I, I don't know what you'll call this match. All I know is it starts up. Have you ever, have you ever no, seen one? I've, I've heard of the match. It's, I don't know what it's called either. It's a serious match. Yes, it's a serious match. But these guys right here, yeah. Well, these guys tried to do something to me out here that I thought was very serious. Like I said, I'm a family man. I got a family to feed and take care of. And I don't like nobody trying to, you know, end my career. I don't know what we'll build the match yet, but if they want the match, I've seen what happened. No, they'll... no, I, no, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not asking them if they want the match. I'm if saying, want match. yes, we want the match. I'm, I want you, you want match. I want you to force them to sign this. If we get beat the first fall, one of us is going to sit in the cage. We ain't going to get beat the well, first fall. Well, listen, I, I, don't know how way, we'll, but... I don't know how we'll build it, but you can sit down and explain it to me later. But the Oriental Death you, Match. You'll That's get the match. The we will get the match. Okay. Oriental Death Match. Are you for lack of it? Okay. That's. Uh, <laughs> we'll do it. Let's see. Let's take a break. We'll come back. We'll check everything out for you when we return. Stay with us. Well, I tell you what, we'll, we'll explain all of this that's uh, that's over here. Uh, by the way, in just a moment, and we're getting <laughs> getting prepared for something special. But first, let me uh, let you take a look at uh, six-man tag team action. Moon Dogs going against the Harris brothers. Boy, Ron and Don. Too. Take a look at this. Oh boy, the Moon Dogs. Oh, they 
Sabres will pull back. It's a rainfall all over. Christmas creatures in there. Mike Miller, the Bruce brother. Well, Eddie Marlin has joined us right here, and uh, you, you've got a poster for the Moon Dog Battle Royal. We've got a garbage can on either side here, brand new ones, as a matter of fact. And it looks like a, a well laid in supply of boards. Right. <laughs> all right, now the Moon Dog Battle Royal. Uh, first of all, let's talk a little bit about how this is going to work. Uh, already, I notice there are two names on here. This, this is the order that the wrestlers will come into the ring. We'll have a drawing for the wrestlers. The wrestlers will be out here shortly and have a drawing. These two wrestlers will start. Moondog Spot and Big Don Harris going to be the first two. And after the first minute, uh, whoever draws number three will stop by and pick up a board and he'll go to the ring. And every minute thereafter, whatever number you draw, we'll find out in just a second what order they'll go to the ring. But before they go to the ring, they'll stop by and pick up a board and carry it to the ring with them. Oh, my goodness. Now, this, this is going to be a wild one, fans. Now, there's two ways you can be eliminated out of this Moondog Battle Royal. You can either be pinned mm -hmm. or the coward in you can show up. You can either get pinned or if it gets too hot in the kitchen, you can leave. Oh, That's me. the only two ways you're eliminated. Well, there may be some of that happening, too, let me tell you, because this one has the makings. When you give a guy a board like this, and head him into the ring, and you got folks like already these two, Moondog Spot and Big Don Harris, you know you got trouble brewing. You got 16 men in there, and you're going to have the boards and the cans. Well, now here comes, here comes Richard Lee and, uh, and the Moondog. Uh, I tell you what, we might as well just get the drawing started with it. Here, uh, here comes a whole bunch of folks. Jerry Lawler, Bill Dundee, Danny Davis. Jeff Jarrett, uh, Richard, I'm sure you, sure you are familiar with this, uh, with this situation coming up. We might as well start filling in the spots right here. So, Eddie, you want to let them, let them draw a number, and whatever number, that's where their name goes. Corey, let me borrow this just for a second here. And Richard Lee draws this. Is this for you or, or, Cujo, or Cujo? For Richard Lee, number three. All right. Okay. Okay. All right, we need to get Moondog Cujo in there, right? I've got the spike. Uh, for Spike, okay, I beg your pardon. Spot is already on. This is for Spike. Spike is number nine. Moondog Spike will come in ninth. Danny Davis. Danny's still feeling the effects of uh, number six, Danny Davis. Bill Dundee is drawing next. Number four, Bill Dundee. <laughs> Jeff Jarrett. <laughs> Jeff will be... Oh, number 16. He'll be the last man to come into the ring. Oh, that's a that's a great uh, a great number. The King. Well, number twelve, another good drawing for the King. And let's see, we need, uh, need, hey, need Richard, some more people out here, just maybe. Just a second, I gotta go around. Right, Christopher, there. there's gonna be a head cut, yeah. and I can't wait to get to the ring because I got a board waiting, especially for you. <laughs> this looks like this could be 16 concussions down there right, Monday night, right. or this week, rather. I can hardly wait. We're gonna bust somebody's brains out. But in some of those guys' cases, you gotta have a brain first, so we're just gonna bash their heads in. Huh? <laughs> All right. Now, let me say something if I can. They named this thing the Moondog Battle Royal, and there's one reason. For the last year, my dogs have been in some of the baddest battles that you ever want to be in. What happened was, Moondog Spot has been bugging me all day long. He's been bugging me all week long. He said, Richard, please, please let me sing a song. So what I'm going to do is I want to ask Red up in the, in the control tower, Red, please put the uh, PA on over here so the crowd can hear this. All right, a song from Richard Lee. Another song, song from Richard Lee. Week. All right, song of the week. Song of the week. You want to sing, Spot? You want to sing? I want all you people in the crowd 
to help Spot one time with his song. How bad are those doggies from Swampland? <laughs> the ones with the white beard and bones. <laughs> well, how bad are those doggies from Swampland? <laughs> Uh, you best leave those doggies alone. <laughs> Bert, they'll make you a girl just like you wanted. <laughs> and my examples, they'll rip out your tongue. <laughs> and when we get through with those Harris boys, <laughs> uh, they might find enough parts to make one. <laughs> we got your numbers, boys, and you're ours. <laughs> Richard Lee in the song of the week, huh? and, and a little help from Moondog Spot. All right, well, there good. the Moondog, Moondog Spot. He'll be the first one out along with uh, Big Don Harris. Here comes another group right here. Bert Prentice leading the way. Yes, you are. Uh, go ahead and draw a number. Including. I have to be in this thing? Yes. That's what Eddie said, yeah. Number 13. All right. Uh, all right, 15. Terror number one is number 15. Number five, number two. All right. That's a long name. It'll take me a minute to write it here. Yeah, Christopher Screech is pulling it in there now. Boy, he can't. His hand is so big, he can barely get it in that cup. Christmas Creature, all right. Christmas Creature's hand's so big, yeah. he can't, uh, can't, can't get, get it, it there in to there. draw it. So the Terror, number one, is going to draw for him, and he is number, number 10, ten Christmas Creature. <laughs> Uh, how, how come I'm out here, Brown? Uh, because uh, because you're supposed to draw. You're supposed to be in uh, in this uh, fight here. <laughs> you know that I'm retired from wrestling, right? right? So why am I here? You're retired from wrestling, but you're not retired from aggravating and interfering in all the matches around the ring, and you're not retired from a fight. And this is certainly going to be a fight. It's def you can definitely get hurt in this one. This is definitely a fight, no doubt about it. Uh, go ahead and draw a number there, please. Well, I have to be in here with 16 people that are going to have boards trying That's to hit. Right. You'll 15. Have You'll have a board, though. 15 <laughs> and yourself would make 16 total. And, uh, is Corey Macklin going to be in it? No, he isn't. Maybe he will. And he leave him alone. Just yeah, what just number are you? Pull your number there. You can either get or Mike Samples, number eight. <laughs> Uh, all right. This is Ron Harris. Big Don will be one of the two people starting. It'll be Don Harris starting against Moondog Spot, and his brother will be in number seven, Ron Harris. Got uh, two more spots left. Wait, Brian Christopher with, uh, with one of them here. Number 17. Oh, come on. That's, no, there is 17. no number 17. Only 16 spots all together. He had that palm. He brought that out himself. Yeah, it's not even the right color paper. They can draw another one. I got 17. Jeff yeah. Jarrett, you're in for it now. I'm the last man. Oh, Christopher. No, you're not. Draw, draw another one. Yeah, draw another one. Come on, draw a number out. See, I'm always getting the shaft. Always cheating O'Brien Christopher. You're not dealing with those guys you had out here a while ago. Man. Number 14. Number 14 is Brian Christopher. And let's see here. I hope you're number 11, Mr. Marlin. I believe that would leave one number for... Dave, the, whoever would be in number 11 spot's not here at the present time, but it's, it won't have to be a drawing. We'll just know that this week he is number 11. He's going to be so at we'll number 11. We will have it just uh, prior to the match. Have an added name to go in at number 11. Uh, yeah. so so I'll just put like a little dash right here and then uh, and then uh, uh, there will be an added name at number 11 in time for the match. This is going to be the wildest thing that's ever happened. Uh, sure I, is. I think you're absolutely right. All right, let's uh, let's take a look at it right here. <laughs> 
Before, if you give me <laughs> yeah, a hand here. Hold it here. All right. Uh, okay, what, which camera is a good one to get a shot? That there one right there. All right. Now, this. keep in mind here, this is the way this is going to work for the Moon, Moon Dog Battle Royal. They head to the ring. They stop and uh, pick up one of these big boards out of the garbage can on the way to the ring. And we will start with Moon Dog Spot and Big Don Harris in the ring. One minute later, Richard Lee will come out, pick up a board. He will head to the ring. A minute later, Bill Dundee. Then every minute, another wrestler will stop at the can and pick up a uh, pick up a board and head for the ring. Number five, Master of Terror, Danny Davis, Ron Harris, Mike Samples, Moon Dog Spike, uh, the Christmas Creature, and then uh, the special announcement will be made uh, at uh, at match time as to who number eleven is going to be. Uh, number twelve, Jerry Lawler. Number thirteen, Burt Prentice. Number 14, Brian Christopher. Number 15, Master of Terror, number one. Number 16, Jeff Jarrett. And uh, Eddie? Number 11 is Eddie Marlin. Oh, all right. Are you sure you won't do that? I'll get a board, too. Hey, well, that's an excellent point. Let me go oh. ahead and write that in. Yeah, let's write Eddie. Eddie on, is uh, you got your marker there. It's going to be... Uh, be in here. Well, uh, the marker must have rolled off go. the table here. That's okay. We'll, okay. we'll put it in there later. Number we'll 11 is going to be Eddie Marlin. You saw the rest of them. The last man to enter the ring, Jeff Jarrett. Is that an advantage to be the last one to come in there? I think most of the wrestlers would think so, that the later they enter, the better their chances. But remains to be seen, and we will find out this week when the Moondog Battle Royal takes place. We'll be back with more USWA action. You stay with us. tonight following Silly Shockers on TV5. Man, what a night's coming up. Eddie Marlin, I think, <laughs> said it. This may be the wildest night ever in the USWA, and there have been some wild ones. I recall the the, uh, the uh, concession stand brawl in Tupelo yeah. a few years ago, and uh, what, what happened up in Missouri that led to that uh, Moondogs uh, thing with uh, Lawler and Jarrett for so many times, and, and any time the Moondogs are around, but the Moondog Battle Royal. Tell you what, let's check the whole card. We'll tell you about this Battle Royal again in just a minute. The uh, opening match, Monday night, 7.30 at the Mid-South Coliseum. A mixed tag match, and, and Burke Prentice can say what he wants, but I think... Well, that's he, ridiculous yeah, what he's saying, isn't it? You know the truth, fans. There is absolutely no truth to anything he's saying, except that uh, Miss Texas was celebrating a victory there, and that videotape he showed, and the stuff he was talking about is just silly. Miss Texas and Eddie Marlin will be in there together, though, against Leslie Bellinger and Burt Prentice. The mixed tag match will be the opener, so you'll want to be there on time so you don't miss this one. Then, for lack of a better term, we're calling it the Oriental Death match, uh, Bill Dundee and Danny Davis going against the Masters of Terror. And let me let me explain it as I understand it from uh, Danny Davis, and, and I may miss a fine point or two of the rules here. This is a match he saw in the Orient, but it starts out as a tag match, Dundee and Davis against the bo both of the Masters of Terror. If one of the participants is pinned, then that man uh, has to continue while his fresh partner, the man who was not pinned, is put is, is put in a cage or is handcuffed uh, outside the ring and, and cannot get in, something like that. So, so the man who has just been pinned has to continue, and at that point then it would be two against one. When that man is pinned again, he has a ten count to get up and answer the bell, and if he cannot answer the bell for the next fall, the match is over, they lose. If he can get up, then his partner is released, and we're back to tag team rules. Well, that, I don't know uh, if I can remember all I, of that. I, it's kind of complicated, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, but, it. but when you think about it, that, uh, that uh, is the situation, and of course, what Danny Davis is hoping to do is to be able to get one of the Masters of Terror out of there quickly, and then continue to work on the other for what they did to him right yeah. here today. The Oriental Death Match will, uh, will occur Monday night. World Tag Titles will be on the line. Some special stipulations in this one for for world tag titles. Moondog's going uh, with Richard Lee, of course, in their corner. Ron and Don Harris, the Bruise Brothers, will have Mike Samples over in their corner. In this one, no stopping the match, no disqualification. The World Tag Championships will be on the line. The Moondog's currently holding the belts. Then, Southern title will be on the line against uh, one of the ballets here. I'm not real sure. We've had some volunteers uh, to come out and support Brian Christopher, which I'm not sure was a wise idea at all, especially given the fact that Jeff has just beaten him uh, handily for the uh, Southern title uh, just a few days ago. But 
the uh, Jeff will put the Southern title back on the line. Brian Christopher would, has refused to put his hair on the line, which is what Jeff really wanted, but he has agreed to put his valet's hair on the line. So the, one of the valets gets a head shave, maybe more than that, but as Lawler said, he's pretty confident that once one gets their head shaved, the rest of them are going to find the back door to the Mid-South Coliseum pretty quickly and not hang around for their haircut. Unified world title against the mask. Jerry Lawler will be going against the Christmas creature in this single match. But that's not the end of it at all. The big Moondog Battle Royal coming up here. We told you about it just a few moments ago. And this is going to be the situation. You will have Moondog Spot and Big Don Harris starting it out. One minute later, Richard Lee will pick up a board, head for the ring. And a minute later, Bill Dundee will do the same thing. They will be followed in order by the Master of Terror number two, Danny Davis, Ron Harris, Mike Samples, Moondog Spike, the Christmas Creature, Eddie Marlin, Jerry Lawler will be number 12, Burt Prentice will enter the ring 13th, Brian Christopher number 14, 15th, the Master of Terror number 1, and the final man to enter the ring with a board in hand will be Jeff Jarrett. As Eddie Marlin says, this has the makings of the wildest night ever in the USWA. There are other things going on there that night, too. King is uh, here right now. Jerry, you got... Uh, Got a special package under your arm. No purchase necessary, but some fan, I suspect, is going to take that away with oh, them, too. Oh, yeah. I just want to bring this along from our friends over at Fireworks City. And, of course, you know we're getting close to uh, celebrate bringing in the new year. And ha how could you think of a better way to do it than to with a little assortment like that right there? And that's going to be down there, like you said. No purchase necessary, but some lucky fan there is going to win that and, and uh, do some New Year's Eve celebrating there from our friends at Fireworks City. And you know what, Dave? A couple of things I wanted to mention that... Uh, sometimes goes without say you know i guess the wrestlers don't necessarily talk about it back here but uh you you look at this list of guys and you see all of these guys that are going to go in there they're going to grab a board and risk getting their brains beat out and the first thing that's got to come to mind is why would anybody do this why would you want to go in there with 15 other guys that are going to be carrying boards well what they fail to mention out here but of course all the wrestlers know it uh, there is a little incentive that the USWA has put up with uh, for this match and the fact is that uh, not only do you get the prestige if you're the winner of outlasting those 15 other guys but the winner of this match is going to really start off the new year right because he gets a check for ten thousand wow. dollars so I can assure you that the guys are going to be carrying those boards and the last one Jeff is probably going to pick up the garbage can too and there's going to be some people I don't think there'll be many that take the coward's way and run out of there with that much money at stake, but there'll be some people carried out of that ring down there Monday night because for that amount of money, there's some guys in here that would hit their mother over head with a board like this. So. <laughs> probably, probably be right I'm about that. I'm not one of those, though. I'm not one of those. You know. <laughs> I, do, I do have a little uh, world title match coming up down there. It's a return match. We all saw this Christmas creature out here a while ago. I saw him close up there uh, last Monday night, and I still think... I still think that this guy has come straight down from the WWF. And a lot of people, I'm sure a lot of, you know, I've had a lot of people say that they saw me on the WWF, saw me on the WWF wrestling shows. A lot of people said they didn't think the king would ever be there. Well, I went right up there and I sat right down beside big shot Vince McMahon. And I told him, you know, Vince McMahon, if you'd keep an open mind instead of an open mouth and listen to the king, you might learn something. Because you see... If the educational system was right in this country, a person could get a college degree just by listening to me talk for about three hours. I got some things to say, and I know what I'm talking about, and I know this Christmas creature is from the WWF, and I, this down there this Monday night, when I beat him, we're going to take that mask off of him because that's the stipulation. Either the belt goes or his mask goes, and I'm going to make you this personal promise right now from the king. This belt is staying with me right here in Memphis, Tennessee, and we're going to find out exactly who that is down there Monday night. going to be a big night, no doubt about it, at the Mid-South Coliseum. One other thing I wanted to remind you of before we leave here, the December special continues that Eddie Marlin announced, uh, announced at the beginning of the month, and that is that children 12 and under, when accompanied by a paid adult admission, will be admitted to general admission free. That is the action coming up Monday night, 7.30 at the Mid-South Coliseum. Moondog Battle Royal, $10,000 yeah. to the winner. Yeah. Don't miss this one, fans. We'll be back here in just a moment. Some major league opponents coming up here. All right. Mike Samples is out here along with Burt Prentice and the Bruise Brothers, Ron and Don Harris. No time limit, no disqualification, no stopping the match for any reason. 
The best team will win. And here they stand, and you're going to get a look at them right now. And don't say anything smart, or they may visit you, Dave. Brown. I'm not going to say anything smart. I'm just saying there's no time limit and all that. You're talking about a match coming up later in the week. Right now, here today, they've got a match. They've got an expiration of time match coming up right here. And well, not, who's the two geek opponents today? Well, well, I, can't well, you, I, no, I tell you what, just just watch. I'm only going to tell you. Just watch right here, and you'll see who the opponents are coming out right here. And then let's see if you say anything smart. These are the only two men in this studio today besides Bert and myself, so don't get smart. Well, the, 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 the opponents are not in the studio yet, but they are headed this direction, as a matter of fact. And just, just here's one of them. Here's the other one. And those are the opponents for the Bruise Brothers here today. Jerry Lawler, Jeff Jarrett, <laughs> against Ron and Don Harris. This is the best you could do? No, oh, come on, Prentice. You're darn right it's the best we could do, and it's the best you need to do. The Bruise Brothers may have a nice long day here today. Of course, on the other hand, Lawler and Jarrett have a long day, too. Yeah, yeah these things are rugged. The Harris's are tough. They spent a lot of time in the Pacific Northwest, and they put on uh, put on a lot of size, weight, and experience while they were there. Man, they are big and tough. Let me tell you, these guys are huge in there. They have wrestled in many different places, but uh, in the USWA, they have a rather awesome record. They are a tough bunch in the ring right there, but they're going against a tough bunch. And Lawler and Jarrett, and Jeff Jarrett starts against one of them. I'm not sure which. I, I, I well, still you... <laughs> can't tell Ron and Don apart. And the fact that they have the the, uh, the goatee and, and the way their hair is, it is just very difficult to tell them apart. I think there's a difference in the tattoos they have on their arm, but I don't know what it is. Yeah, Ron and Don Harris, the Bruce Brothers, and uh, one of them swings in off the deaf boy. Jeff Jarrett's not wondering which one of them it is. He just wants to get out of there. That's exactly right. Level. He doesn't really care which one it is. He just got to handle Ooh. both of them at each time they're in there. Oh, those guys swing with a lot of power in there, those blue brothers. Oh, he catches his brother in there, though. Jeff died. Uh, I offered the moon dog five thousand dollars to rest of my boys on TV today, but you don't see them, do you? No, I don't see the five thousand dollars either, Mike. No, get, us, either. get us a certified check out here, and I bet Richard Lee might uh, be willing to do business. Why? Why would? What? You, you don't like the opponents you got? Look at this. Boy, they're working over Jeff and Jerry right now, double teaming. Uh, uh, these are two young punks with not much, uh, you know, not much experience. Look at that. Oh, you got both your guys in there working on Jeff. It's two against one. He's trying to teach him something, Dave. He's young. They're, you know, they're trying to show him how to wrestle. Waller nailed as he came through the rope. This is advanced education. Two of those guys, you know, you learn twice as much and half the time. Well, that's the wisdom of Mike Sample. Hey, look at this. Yeah, the strap of the key comes down, and boy, he goes to work on the booze, brother. Jeff's over with the other one in the corner. You want to talk about going to school? Look out, Brian Christopher's in the ring. That's going to hit this one right here. Yeah, boy, here comes Christopher. Both of the Bruce Brothers go to work on Jerry over there. Well, look at Christopher. Christopher away. He's found a Jeff Jarrett. He is seeing that Southern Heavyweight title, which used to be his, and he knows that a match has been signed, and he's trying to work Jeff, and I have no doubt he's trying to hurt him so that Jeff can't wrestle in that match. Christmas Creatures jumped in the thing over here. He's over choking Lawler. He's choking Lawler. They've got a match coming up for the, uh, it's a, uh, the, the mask will be against the title. Whoa! Look out, we've got a free-for-all brewing right here. we got a ring full of them. Yeah, Moondog Spot and Richard Lee comes in. Moondog slamming away on the Bruce Brothers. They train lights in there. Here comes Bill Dundee. I don't even know how many of them there are. It's not even count. There's so many of them going at it here. There goes Brian Christopher's head into the turnbuckle. Ah! Uh, Boy, they go after Billy. They've already uh, put Danny somewhat out of commission for the day, anyway, with that ether earlier. Now they're grabbing Bill. All are there to help him out a little bit. Oh, boy. The big Bruce brother and Moondog spot there trading the lakes outside of the ring. Here comes Danny Davis, though. Oh, we hope Danny's okay while well, he goes 
to work on the Mastic. Yeah. The Harris brothers have just left. They walk, They got all this kind of started, and then they just walked out of here. Yeah, the Christmas tree that walked right behind them. Yeah. Yeah. Jeff Jarrett is just Neil Brian Christopher. He had moved on spot, double oh, off, and oh. knocked him over the top rope. And there's Mike Samples stumbling out of here. There's Christopher on the floor picking himself up. Yeah, one of the best out there. He got hung over there with all of Jared and Dundee. What? Let's, uh, let's regroup. We'll be back right after this, fans. Stay with us. Don't forget, Monday night, 7.30 at the Mid-South Coliseum. Big action coming up, and it begins with a mixed match. This one should be something to see right here. Miss Texas and Eddie Marlin in the ring going against Leslie Bellinger and Burt Prentice. Then we're going to have the Oriental Death Match, uh, for lack of a better term. Danny Davis in here today. The Masters of Terror came in. They sprayed ether. I know that's what it was. You could smell it in a towel, put it over his face. Uh, as a result, he requested this special match. He and Bill Dundee will be going against the Masters of Terror with the special stipulations, which could end up two against one at several different points in the match there. Then you got the world tag titles on the line. No stopping the match. No disqualification. Moondogs, current champions, Richard Lee in their corner, going against the Bruise brothers, Ron and Don Harris, with Mike Samples in their corner. Southern title will be on the line. Jeff Jarrett, the new Southern champion, says, yep, I'll put it on the line, Brian Christopher, against your valet's hair, because I want to show uh, that once your valets start leaving you, you're not as tough when it's just you, and that's the way he wants it, just Brian Christopher with Brian Christopher's hair on the line. So it's title against the valet's hair, Monday night at the Coliseum. Unified world title against the mask of the Christmas creature as Lawler steps in there and puts the title at stake. No time limit, no disqualification on this one either. Then the Moondog Battle Royal, 16 of them. Every minute another wrestler picks up a board, heads for the ring, and the last man standing wins the Battle Royal, the Prestige, and $10,000 to the winner. 7.30 Monday night. Don't forget, kids 12 and under with a paid adult admission are going to be uh, admitted free to general admission. That's it. We hope you'll be joining us next week. Until then, for Corey Macklin, I'm Dave Brown. So long, everybody. No!